knowledge is power. I know that's a cliche, but it's true. And that's particularly true in the FPV hobby. In fact, I'm faced with this right now. I'm about to film my build video of the Mario 5. And the problem here is I'm using older components or electronics from previous builds. Now I've been faced with these issues multiple times in the past, and this is nothing new for me. But the problem here is that I don't know the pinouts or even the specifications of this board. Now at this point you're probably saying just go to the company's or the manufacturer's website and just see what the specifications say. But that in fact is also contributing to the problem. These manufacturers, if they make a newer version of this board or any component for that matter, they completely just drop any kind of support for the previous models. In fact, they just delete it off the website altogether. Well, that's until now because I have these two FPV guidebooks and what these are are complete resources for FPV pilots. So let's take a look at these and see how they look. Let's start off with the first one here. This is the black and white one. This is an FPV guide. It says edition one on here. And this thing gives you any kind of information in the FPV hobby. If you want specifications, how to wire up a flight controller, ESC, even, even how to wire up an antenna, it's all in here. So these are really invaluable resources, guys. Let's take a look in here. And you have a table of contents saying what's in here. You have ESCs, receivers, TX modules, connections like UFLs, cameras, motors, VTXs. And here are some of the illustrations on here. So here's the capacitor, what's inside. Negative electrode, positive electrode, the cathode foil, separator paper, all the components. Now how to read it and how to know the information on a capacitor, a UFL connector, um, even SMAs, Wasnell antennas and what's inside of them, what makes it different than other antennas. You have flight controls like Fatec, KISS, flight controllers. Everything is in here, Holly bro. And it gives you everything, the specifications, what the actual components are on the flight controller. And this is exactly what I need for this build. Besides that, you also have receivers. You have TBS Crossfire, the dimensions, the pads. Some of these receivers don't even have the pads or what they are labeled on here. And it's all included in here, the specifications and even some tips for some of these receivers. Here's one here for radio, TBS Mambo controller. And if you open up, it shows you everything in here, your trims, your motor, your buttons, your Wi-Fi, SD cards, your 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack. Really cool, even some of the replacement parts on here and the part number. So if you have a FPV radio or any kind of FPV component or electronics, this is a great resource. Here's some stuff here by HD0. You have the Whoop Light HD VTX dimensions, the components in here. Really a thorough book. If you want cameras, here's all your cameras, Catus cameras, DJI cameras, run cam cameras, and then here's your motors. And everything from single stranded to multi stranded windings, everything is in here, guys. In the back here, you have some empty pages on here. If you want to add some notes, if in case you're doing a build, and there's something that's specific to your build, you can put some notes in here. And in the back here, you have some frequency reference charts. If you're gonna be flying outside with other drones. And in the back here, you also have a focus chart here for your cameras. So that's a good example of what's included in one of these. There's five editions. This is just edition one and edition two. Now the second one here is also interesting. This one here is also kind of catered toward sub 250 gram drones which is a big topic right now going into remote ID. So if you're gonna buy, or if you're gonna build a smaller drone or have smaller components, this might be the addition here for you. Now this one here is even more detailed. You have some colored pages on here. And the same thing, table of contents, you have the smaller receivers on here, beta FPV. Um, a lot of details in this. True RC, beta FPV, iFlight. Here's some flight controls again. Now I put this, uh, bookmark in here. This is a sticker that comes with these books. And this is the one exactly for my flight controller. So this is the Speedy B F405 V3. Now there's a V4 out there and I have the V3 version. So it's not really an old, I mean, it's older. It's not the most current one, but it's, it's not an old, you know, flight controller by any means. It's kind of hard to find the information. And here it is right here. It tells me all the pads the three to six S LiPos tells you all the specifications as far as the BEC and the power output SD card barometer 
And this is the stuff I need when I'm gonna wire up this flight controller to my Mario 5. So this is the page I'm gonna bookmark and I will have to reference once I do this build. Here's your walk snail goggles, guys. The board for the walk snail goggles. All the antennas, the display. Um, it is pretty cool, that's ESCs. Avatar HD goggles, this is great. It says 225S voltage. Here's your Radio Master Boxer, a very popular radio on the market. Here's all the specifics, the diagram. Really cool, DJI O3. Here's your antennas. There's a lot of confusion about the O3. Tells you all the specifications on here. Goggles 2, Goggles V2, all the latency, all the information is on here. Avatar H2 V2, the naked one, the light version. There's a lot of current information in here. DJI O3 camera, the field of view. I'm trying to see if there's any other specifics on here. Resolutions. Here's the Runcam Thumb Pro, one of my favorite cameras or action cameras. Here's all the information in here, the wiring diagram, the pinouts for it. You get the picture, guys. This thing is really, really cool. Really good resources here. And yeah, this thing has been a valuable resource for me and I will be using this as I accumulate a lot more parts. Now, this is particularly important to me since I do a lot of builds. I do tons of builds, guys. And sometimes I'm now recycling previous electronics into my new build like this Mario 5 right here. And this is gonna be a really good resource. Now these guys support the FPV hobby. I said, this is something that wasn't on the market and these things are very current. You have multiple editions. I just have edition one and edition two. And yeah, this is a really good resource for building and using FPV components. Now, if you're interested in these books, as I said, there's five editions. I'll leave links down below where you can find them. They're not affiliated, so I'm not being paid for this. I just think that this was a pretty cool resource and I wanted to share that with the FPV community. So let me know what you think about these books and if you're interested in these. Now, if you have any questions about these books, I'll be happy to answer it. If you want me to answer if there's any specific information on your flight controller or ESC, you know, even the receivers, I'll take a look and reply to those in the comments. As I said before, I'll leave links to these down below so you can take a look at their website and get these for yourself. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.